Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the distributive property of multiplication and how we can use this to find products. Before we begin, stop and make sure that you have your materials, your notes, a pencil, a highlighter, and if you need to grab something, pause the video now. And remember while you're working, if you don't understand something, to put a question mark next to it in your notes. Let's start with our vocabulary word. Distributive property. This means multiplying two factors is the same as breaking apart one factor and multiplying the add-ins by the other factor, then adding the products. And that sounds like a complicated definition, but it actually makes multiplying a lot easier. So let's look at some examples. We're going to start with 6 times 7, and I drew an array to model this with 6 rows of 7. And I know that 7 can be broken into 5 and 2 because 7 is equal to 5 plus 2. And I like multiplying with 5s and 2s because they're really easy for me to skip count with. And to show this on my array, I draw a line. So now I have 6 rows of 5 and 6 rows of 2. And I can rewrite my equation as 6 times 7 is equal to 6 times parentheses 5 plus 2. And I'm putting that parentheses around 5 plus 2 because that's what I'm going to use in place of the 7. Then I'm going to distribute my 6. I'm going to take that 6 and I'm going to multiply it by both numbers inside the parentheses. So 6 times 7 is the same as 6 times 5 plus 6 times 2. And the parentheses tell me that I should do that part first. So my 6 rows of 5, I wrote as 6 times 5. And my 6 rows of 2, I wrote as 6 times 2. So I'll start by multiplying 6 times 5. And I can skip count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then I can multiply 6 times 2, and this time I can skip count by 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 6 times 7 is equal to 30 plus 12. And then when I add 30 and 12 together, I find that 6 times 7 is equal to 42. Using the distributive property, breaking up one of our factors, can just make it easier to multiply. Let's try another example. Six times eight. So I have my array. It has six rows of eight. And instead of multiplying by eight, I know that eight is equal to five plus three. So on my array, I draw a line. So now I have 6 rows of 5 and 6 rows of 3. So when I rewrite my equation, I'm going to put 5 plus 3 in place of the 8. So 6 times, seven is, six times 8 is equal to 6 times 5 plus 3. And I'm putting that 5 plus 3 in place of my 8. Then I distribute the 6. I can look back at my array for help. I have 6 rows of 5, so that's going to be 6 times 5. And 6 rows of 3, so 6 times 3. So 6 times 8 is equal to 6 times 5 plus 6 times 3. And remember, those parentheses tell me that I should do what's inside it first. So I can start with 6 times 5. And I can skip count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 6 times 5 equals 30. Then for 6 times 3, I can skip count by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So 6 times 3 equals 18. So when I rewrite it, 6 times 8 is equal to 30 plus 18. Then to find my product, all I have to do 
is add 30 plus 18. And remember, if you need to, you can rewrite it vertically to help you add. And then I see that 6 times 8 is equal to 48. When you're using the distributive property, you can pick which factor you want to break up. Maybe you this instead of breaking up the 8, you'd like to break the 6 into 5 and 1, and that would work as well. That's the cool thing about the distributive property is you can use it to help you solve a multiplication problem in whatever way makes the most sense to you. Let's try one more example on the back of our page, 9 times 7. So this time in my array, I have 9 rows of 7. And I'm going to break up my 7. I know that 7 is equal to 5 plus 2. Because again, I'm I usually try to find 5s or 2s or 3s, something that's really easy for me to skip count by when I use the distributive property. I draw my line. So now I have 9 rows of 5 and 9 rows of 2. I can rewrite my problem as 9 times 7 is equal to 9 times 5 plus 2. I'm just replacing the 7 with 5 plus 2. Then I distribute that 9, so I have my 9 rows of 5 and my 9 rows of 2, so I'm going to write a multiplication problem for each part of the array. Nine times seven is equal to nine times five plus nine times two. Then I want to multiply inside my parentheses. Nine times five, I can skip count by fives. And then nine times two. And this time I skip count by twos. Then when I rewrite it, 9 times 7 is equal to, I know that 9 times 5 equals 45, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 9 times 2 equals 18, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So when I rewrite it, 9 times 7 is equal to 45 plus 18. And then I add up 45 plus 18. And remember, if you need to, you can rewrite it vertically. Remember when you're adding to start in your ones place first. Once I add it up, I see that 9 times 7 equals 63. So my product is 63. Now you try. Using the array on your paper, write one way to break it apart, then find the product.